Governor Cuomo has been urging the federal government to send more ventilators to New York. Companies large and small have been stepping up to try to help fill that need. Jackie Slater continues our team coverage from Cohoes. This is it right here. This is the first prototype. It's been running for about 28 hours so far. Now they've submitted their request for approval to the FDA. Fingers are crossed that they get the go ahead. Small but mighty. This machine here designed in direct response to the coronavirus pandemic. The device itself is centered around what's called an AMBU bag, okay, which is an emergency breathing device. Tony Hines is the CEO at PVA in Cohoes. A team of his engineers and manufacturers first started working on the prototype on Friday. It was operating on Monday. We just took that AMBU bag and instead of using a hand to collapse it. We created a small machine to collapse it. As the number of confirmed cases of coronavirus in New York has soared, so has the demand for ventilators. Hines says after listening to Governor Cuomo's calls for emergency supplies, he knew his company, which focuses on robotics and automation manufacturing, could help. Is it a high-end model? It's not. Can it keep somebody stable and alive until a high-end model becomes available for them? It absolutely can do that. Hines says his staff has the ability to make one ventilator every 15 minutes, or a total of 80 to 100 a day. If other manufacturing companies jump on board, he estimates that number could go up a lot. Many local companies have been very, very generous to offer their help, like Cortec, uh, Plug Power, um, a men of silicone. If we enlist the help of those companies, we'll be able to make these even faster and also for less money. The design has been presented to the governor's office and federal agencies in Washington. Now they're hoping for approvals for this product they believe could save thousands of lives. We're like everybody else. We want to be part of the solution. We want to do our part, and, and this is what we can do. If all goes well, Tony says he should be able to get all of the supplies they need to make these in about two weeks' time. Reporting in Cohoes, Jackie Slater, News Channel 13.